not much that I usually come in from the side, right? Hello, how are you? <laughs> ah, time to have some fun with flowers. What are you? What are you? What are you? What are you imbibing with today? I have coffee. What do you have? Is it wine? Is it uh, 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 an icy uh, uh, hot tea? A cocoa? What? What? What are you? What are you doing? So I don't know. Let me know. I should be doing a live chat with you over here. <laughs> so yeah, tell me what you're tell me what you're what you're imbibing with today. Um, we're gonna make a green arrangement today. Um, I've got these amazing um, proven winners PGs. Look at those. Aren't those amazing? Oh, just gorgeous. So we're gonna use those with some green zinnias. I've got a little bit of celosia. We've got some foliages here that are gonna be fun. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that. Let's see. So I'm gonna start with a piece of, um, we're gonna use some scented geranium. And I have these amazing uh, pasta leaves that are like a chartreuse green, okay? And then I have some viburnum berry, which has a little bit of blue on it. That's pretty, right? So we're going to use, this is a little wided, wider vase, you know, wider mouthed vase. I like it because it gathers the stems towards the bottom. And then we are going to remove any foliage that falls below the water line. Right? Cut it a little short. There we go, like that. <laughs> they want to pull each other up out of there. It's fun. Make it fun. Don't be like, oh, I'm so frustrated. I don't want to do. They're falling out of there. I was watching a friend of mine make a bouquet the other day, and she's she's a she's a landscape gardener, and she's not really a flower ranger. And I noticed that it was going rough in certain areas and um and then she would stop the camera and start again you know and i was just like and i know how she feels because you know you, you just gotta go with it though sometimes and 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 be aware that everything doesn't have to work out perfect you know um i guess i was really fortunate so for so many years i did live flower shows and sometimes you know the bouquet just doesn't turn out the way you want it to you you think it's going to but it just doesn't and that's okay because happy accidents really truly thinking about bob ross and the happy accidents that we have and, and with with flower arranging and you know with painting and things like that it's okay that's okay don't be don't be concerned don't be worried about it Oof. it's too much stuff to worry about you know now, okay so what's going to happen is look at that beautiful arrangement and i am going to drop this pg hydrangea dead center in here i'm going to cut him just a little bit shorter move a couple more leaves right there look at that and what it's going to do is it's going to act as a structure almost like a, a flower frog and my flowers are going to go in through and around it right and so that's what i love about these hydrangeas i mean they've been growing this has just been a glorious year for the pgs they are just wonderful look at that so now i'm going to come back with one more piece of or two actually because it looks like i'm going to be able to divide this into a couple pieces maybe maybe not take that back okay happy accident not gonna work we're gonna do it this way and i'm gonna go in between with that Okay, so see how I've layered those on top of each other to give it a little bit more structure. I'm just going to look over here real quick and see if I have, I don't have any more viburnum. I just wondered if I did. So I grabbed a little bit of mint, okay, because I want this to have a little bit more of a wild look. And so mint has a nice little narrow stem that can go right through the hydrangea and poke up over the top. I did an interview with my friend Talmadge for Flower Style the other day, and it said that, you know, what, what are you tired of? And it's like, I get tired of tortured flowers because I don't want flowers wrapped in around and woven into stuff. And I, I just don't get any of that. It's just not my favorite thing. Okay. And if you love it, 
I, I'm so happy for you, and I want you to enjoy it, and I want you to just, you know, live your life, do your thing, whatever. But I like it to be a little bit more naturalistic. I like it to be color-based. Um, that's always very important for me, is to have color basing done. Um, these are not probably technically completely green. They're a little bit more yellow, but they're more chartreuse. So I'm just going to hope that they're going to look great in here, because they will, because they're analogous colors, and analogous colors are next to one another on the color wheel. So when you put yellow flowers next to green flowers, they start to take on a green cast. And so those are starting to do that there. And then we are going to add some green zinnias, which have to be one of my total favorite flowers on the planet. Okay. And yeah. So we're just going to drop a couple of those green zinnias down inside here. Always loved a green zinnia. Always, always, always. Um, one time my friend Matt Wood sent me some green um, permanent zinnias that they had made at Windward. And I still have them. I still have them here at the house because they still look amazing. They just are the most realistic looking flowers. Windward does such a great job with those and the factories that they use. You know, and so, so I, I, I like a permanent flower as well as a fresh one, too, because sometimes you need flowers in a space where you don't have a lot of ability to care for them. So that works out well. Yeah, I look at that. That's awfully pretty. You know what I'm going to do, though? So look at Just take that in. Enjoy it. Love it. Think about it. Okay, because I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to add a couple yellow zinnias too, because these guys are analogous colors. And those two colors rest next to one another on the color wheel. And I love yellow and green as an analogous color combination. And it just changes up this whole arrangement and takes it from a cool arrangement to a friendly arrangement. It's like the arrangement that you want to go next door and borrow a cup of sugar or talk with your neighbor over the fence or something like that. You know, and great neighbors in the neighborhood. I love it. And uh, yeah, I like to talk over the fence with neighbors. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. It's just really fun. So, yeah. Uh, look at that. Analogous color scheme. Analogous color scheme. Two colors next to one another on the color wheel. So we went with green and yellow. Green and yellow. Friendly colors. Analogous colors are neighbors on the color wheel. They're friendly, safe, and romantic. Okay? So, yeah. Uh, we're going to give it a misting with our Christ of Professional Glory to make sure that it lasts a long time. You know, I'm going to put this on my desk. I just made that decision right this second. It's going to be my desk flowers for this week. And so that'll be fun, right? So until next time, I hope you I hope you put flowers on your desk because your creative space is so important. Flowers allow us to be more creative. There's proven research. They allow us to be more creative. They allow us to find creative solutions to problems. It's a wonderful thing to have fresh flowers in your office or your office space or where you're creating. So no matter what that might be, even if you're creating your crafts, having flowers are going to make you have wonderful creative things that happen. So enjoy it. Enjoy those flowers. And send me pictures of what you make. I want to see the creative arrangements you make and put in your office. Send them to me at j at ubloom.com. Okay? I'll be waiting to see what you made. All right. Until next time, keep having fun with flowers.